Hi guys, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Let's get started on our mats in a comfortable seated position. Crisscross applesauce, hands face down onto the knees. Close the eyes. Maybe rock forward and back on the sit bones. Just feeling where your body is in space. And take that rock side to side. And then eventually coming to that place of stillness in the middle. As you inhale, the crown of your head reaches up towards the ceiling. Keep that length as you exhale out all the air. Inhale through the nose, expand the chest, open up the collarbones. Open mouth, exhale. Deep breath like that. Big inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Bring your hands heart center in a prayer position. Take a moment here to set your intention for the class. Whether that be to be more patient, to find more energy, or to deepen your breath. One big inhale as you seal that in with a long exhale. Beginning that Ujjayi breath. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose like a restriction in the back of the throat. So this breath should be audible, it should be long, and it should be deep. Breathing in all corners of the body. Exhale out all your air. Inhale. As you exhale, clasp your palms. Push the palms forward as you round your back. Inhale, palms come up to ceiling. Exhale, cactus the arm, shoulder blades squeeze. Inhale, hands come to heart center. We'll find that flow a couple times. Exhale, push the palms out, round the back. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, back to center. Do that three more times on your own breath. Really elongating each inhale and each exhale. Stretching up a little bit taller, squeezing a little bit more. Two more times. Finding something new each round. Last one. Bring you back in center position. Hands come to your heart. And then we'll come to hands and knees. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Take it side to side here. Finding some organic movement. And then maybe front and back, forward and back. This is great for warming up the spine and warming up your wrist. And then come to a neutral position. Drop your belly, look up as you inhale. And then exhale, push the floor away, round your back, like you're trying to get your heart to touch the ceiling. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, collarbones wide. Exhale, really push the floor away. Two more, inhale. Exhale, exhale all your air. Squeeze the stomach, squeeze out the lungs. Inhale, fill up. Come back to neutral position. Tuck the toes under, hover the knees. So engaging the core here, engaging the outer biceps, roll in, eyes of the elbows are forward. Maybe take a couple bounces, really warming up that core. Don't lose that breath, big inhale through the nose and exhale out through the nose. Inhale, 
Exhale, push back, downward dog. First downward dog of the day, so wiggle out your feet. Pedal out the heels. Maybe lift one leg, finding a nice stretch. And then lifting the other. And then coming back to downward dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes and then drop the heels to the right, finding a nice side stretch on that left side body. Put more weight into this left side. So don't dump into the right, more weight evenly distributed through both hands. Find that stretch, hips go back. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, drop your, he your heels over to the left, coming onto the knife edge of both feet. And again, really just pushing your hips back, finding even weight in both hands. Inhale, come to center. One more time, exhale, drop to the right. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, drop it over to the left. Inhale, come back through center. And begin to just walk your feet up to meet your hands. And then come into a ragdoll pose. Bend your knees as much as you need to. To get your chest to lay on your thighs. Again, finding that rock. So playing with the balance of your feet, going left and right. And then taking it and going forward and back. So this just brings awareness to where your body is and to where you're distributing your weight. And then come to center. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Hands come up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. We'll inhale, hands come up. Step your feet out, hip distance apart. Grab onto the elbows. Exhale, you come down the right side. And then as you inhale, come up the left. Exhale, come down. The moving with your breath, the inhale lifts you up that left side. One more on this side. Exhale out all your air before you begin to lift up. Good, and then take it over to the other side. So now exhale down that left side. Then inhale up the right. Two more. Exhale. Long breaths. Moving as slowly or as fast as you need. One more. And come back to center. Release the hands. Take a big inhale here. Open up. Exhale. We'll begin our flow. Inhale, hands come overhead. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, look up halfway, flat back. Exhale, step back into a plank. So engaging your core here. Eyes of the elbows forward, crown of the head reaching towards the front of the mat. Heels reaching towards the back. Squeezing in both of the hands together. So you're really activating the upper body. You're squeezing your legs together. So this isn't just core, it's not just shoulders. Your legs are working hard here. Take a big inhale. And then come up onto your toes as you bend your elbows 90 degrees, bottom of a push-up. Come to the whole exhale, and then you flip your toes under. Inhale, bird butt. Exhale, a whole step. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach right. Hands come up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, fold. Squeeze out all your air before you lift up. Inhale, halfway. Really expand the ribcage here. Exhale, fold. Step back into the plank. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, come up onto your toes. Bend the elbows. Inhale, first up. Filling up the chest, open the collarbones, and then exhale, push back down. Inhale, right leg comes up, toes point down. Big inhale here. 
Exhale, knee to nose, round the back like that. Cat spine, the back of the heart is reaching up. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Place that back with the tab. Inhale, come up, press and pose. So engaging the core here, no flailing out like this. Engage the core, lift those hip points up. Bring those rib cages in. Feel like you're trying to squeeze these two points together. You're squeezing them together as the back leg is fierce and strong. Now we have to come up. Exhale, airplane your arms. Your chest hovers over that front leg. Arms reach back, fingertips reaching back. Crown of the head reaching forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach back, coming down slow. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, air in arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Taking a look at that front knee, making sure it's aligned with those two big toes. Engaging the arms. Arms are reaching towards both sides of the room. Like you want to touch both walls. Engaging the core. Inhale. Exhale, sink down a little bit deeper. Pump over, inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, side angle pose. Again, we'll find that flow. So inhale, keep the legs deep, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale as much as you can. Expanding the body here, and exhale, reaching forward that left hand, fighting the twist. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, side angle pose, and stay here, big inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down, make the right. Inhale, twist the body. Exhale, out all your air, squeeze out all that air out of your lungs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, brings you back to warrior two. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step back into a plank. Take a big inhale here. Engage the core. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, push back down or dog. Inhale, right or left leg comes up. Toes point down, engage that leg, engage the glutes. Take a big inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Ryan inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. One more. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Place that foot down. Inhale, come up on an asana. So again, finding that strength in the back leg, maybe. Walk it back a little bit, engaging the core. Your hands reach up towards the ceiling, but then drop the shoulder blades down the back. All right, so do that with me. Inhale as you reach the hands up, bring the shoulders by the ears, and then exhale, bring the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, and then exhale, airplane arms. So this first one, let's just be still, really focusing on reaching the crown of the head forward, back of the or hands reach back and inhale and then exhale let it go as you airplane arms very nice big inhale gather all that energy and exhale let it go with the breath inhale exhale inhale exhale Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So sinking down a little bit lower, engaging the back. Notice how my shoulder blades squeeze and they draw down, so they're not up here. They're squeezing down. Here big inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, side angle pose. Finding that twist. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale as you look up, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse. Keeping the legs nice and bent. 
It's just the torso. Exhale, right angle. One more. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, side angle pose and hold. Big inhale here. Then exhale, drop that right hand down. Squeeze. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Ryan Little. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, the hand comes up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Come back into that plank. Take a big inhale here. Engage the core. Squeeze the legs. Come up onto the toes. Exhale, 90 degrees. Exhale all your air before you inhale. Maybe fill up the lungs. Pressing down from the top of the feet. And then exhale back. Narrow dog. Inhale, look forward. Step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Uskatasana, bend your knees, inhale, hands come up. And then exhale, airplane arms. So again, reaching those arms back, engage in the core. So no bending the back, engage the core, engage the back. Inhale up, keeping the legs where they are, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, keep the legs bent, exhale down. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up the back leg. Exhale, step or jump back through your chaturanga. Yeah. Inhale, earth up. Exhale, on hold. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, bring it through. Press the pose. And then come down. Punch your knee, press and pose. Find a nice, good stretch. Keeping everything engaged. Core still engaged. Shoulder blades are still engaged. Crown of the head reaches up. Take your hands up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, right hand comes back, left arm comes forward, find a twist. Each inhale, you grow. And then exhale, you bring your torso out. Drop that right hand down on the back thigh. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, bend your hands down. Step it back, go through that chaturanga or knee to downward dog. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring it through. Crescent pose, inhale. And then bring that back knee down. Hands come onto that left thigh. And just take a breath. Really feel that stretch in that right hip flexor. Sending energy down that left heel. And sending energy up the top of your head. Inhale, hands come up. Drop the left hand back, right arm forward, finding that twist. So with each inhale, I'm reaching towards the side of the room. Each exhale, I'm twisting. So getting all that air out. And one more big inhale, reach. And then exhale, twist. And drop that back hand down on the back thigh. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, bring your hands down, back through that chaturanga. Take one breath here, big inhale. Audible exhale. Step to the top of your mat. Toes out, heels in. Now step to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach right as hands come up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. I'm gonna face you for this. Toes out, heels in. Inhale, hands come up. Then exhale, sit down, Malasana Yogi Squat. Do this for a moment. Inhale, come up, using the breath to take you up, using the breath to take you down as you squeeze. Inhale, come up, using the breath for the movement. Notice how much easier it is. Inhale. Exhale, sink down a little bit deeper. One more, big inhale, reach nice and tall. 
exhale, and then hold. So you're using your elbows to really push your knees back. Maybe you can go side to side. Just finding that beautiful hip opener stretch. And then come to that stillness. And sort of like we did in the beginning, I want you to clasp your hands, push the palms forward as you exhale, round the back. And then just inhale, come back into prayer and push the elbows away, or push the elbows into the knees as you straighten your back. So then exhale, you're gonna round forward, push the palms towards the front of the room. And then inhale as you straighten your back. And you really find leverage with your elbows here to really open up your heart. Three more, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale. And then we're always wanting to end in this up position because so much of the time we're down like this. So we really want to enforce that our strength is here. Having a long spine, neck, back of the neck is long. Tailbones reaching down, crown of the head's reaching up. Don't lose that breath. Take a big inhale as you expand. Find the Places that you can expand right now, that you can send that breath. Keep that height, keep that expansion as you exhale. One more time, big inhale. Keep the expansion, exhale. Inhale, come up. Feet together, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step back through that chaturanga. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push back. Come onto your hands and knees. Take a cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, push the floor away. Inhale, drop the belly. Look up. Exhale, push the floor away. Inhale, drop the belly. Pull the hands back as you do this. Really open up. We come into neutral position. We'll come into a seated position. So bringing in that right or that left knee, coming into Gomukhasana. So this is a deep, deep, deep hip posture, hip opener. So try and stack the knees on top of each other. Flex the feet. If you want less, bring them out. If you, or if you want more, bring them out. If you want less, hug them in nice and tight. Inhale, hands come up. And exhale down through heart center. You can stay here. This is plenty. In fact, this is a lot. Or if you're with me, you can start to walk your fingertips forward and bring your chest down onto your thighs, really putting weight onto that front thigh. And again, finding that expansion. So big inhale. Find the expansion in the back of the heart, the rib cage. And as you exhale, you let it release as you go down a little bit further into the stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Walk your fingertips up. Now you can simply just switch legs or you can do a fun little turnaround. You can watch me first. You simply just twist around and you're gonna end up back with the left knee on top. You sort of wanna just adjust, stack the knees again. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale through the heart center. Stay here, or if you're feeling called to, let's walk it down. Long, deep breaths. I'm a lot tighter on the left side. You may notice that you may be a lot tighter on one side compared to the other. Just breathe into it and listen to your body. That's why yoga is so great, because it gets us in tune with our body. You can't force the left side to go deeper than it is willing to go. So you have to be okay with the fact that this side may be a little bit more tight. Just use your breath to loosen that back up. Take one more deep breath, big inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands back up. 
take the legs and just wiggle them out. We're gonna come onto our backs for happy baby. So first off, grabbing onto your knees, maybe rocking back and forth a little bit on the tailbone, rocking side to side. When you're ready, grab onto the outer edges of the feet. Knees come out wide. Don't look to the side like I just did. Keep your neck nice and long. Using the force of your hands to pull your knees down. Let me try that stretch. If you want, you can take your peace fingers on those big toes and you can straighten the legs. Finding sort of upavishta, wide-legged. And then coming back through center. Hugging in your knees and then bringing your forehead to your knees, really hugging it in, squeezing tight. And as you exhale, let it go, Shavasana. Feet flop open, palms face up. Adjust your shoulder blades beneath your back as needed. Take a big inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. One more big inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. Ha. Close the eyes, there's nothing left to see, nothing left to do. When you're ready, begin to make small movements. breath into every single finger and every single toe. Maybe take your hands up overhead, find a nice morning stretch as you inhale and exhale. Let your body fall. Keeping your eyes closed, there's nothing left to see. Just roll over onto your right or left side into a ball. Take a moment here and then use the strength of your arms. Come up to a seated position cross applesauce. Again, where we started, so palms face down onto the knees. Bring the shoulder blades down the back. Sit them nice and tall. Just notice the difference of how you feel. And remember that intention that you set at the beginning of the class. Just notice if you forgot the intention during class or if you feel you have accomplished that intention, no judgment. Just simply notice if you lost your awareness during the practice. But here now in this calm state, can you bring that intention back into your life and into the rest of your day? Inhale, hands come up overhead. Exhale, draw the hands down, heart center. Press the thumbs into the sternum, inhale, and exhale, bow forward, namaste. All right, guys, thank you so much for practicing with me. That was a short little practice, but I hope that sort of just got your breath moving, got your body moving, so that you are ready for your day, or if it is nighttime, so that you are ready to have a nice, beautiful, sound sleep. Like this video if you'd like to see more yoga videos and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of cooking videos and I talk about health, the mental aspect and the physical aspect, all of it. So namaste my friends. Bye.